Okay. Most of you who own a Canon Vixia with the Wi-Fi uh, feature know that getting the Wi-Fi to work and actually sending your footage from the camera to an iPad or your computer is about as easy as cracking the DaVinci Code. Um, even the instructions I saw online in the PDF manual, it's just absurd. They make it so overly difficult, and I tried many, many times and could not get it to work, and then I finally figured out how to get it uh, to work. You don't actually use the transfer files or transfer video button at all, which seems um, strangely illogical. Okay. So what I'm going to do real quick is show you guys with Vixias exactly how to get footage from the camera to your phone or iPad using a simple Wi-Fi connection. Um, and you could also use your 3G or 4G in your phone to do it also. But we're going to go right to this iPad here. The first thing you want to do is go to your apps and you're going to want to download Pixella movie uploader and that's going to look like this so this is pixella movie uploader it's free and you're going to want to go ahead and download this um, it only takes a second and this is what you're going to need to make the camera and your device see one another and that's one thing that they do not tell you in the instructions they make it sound like you just turn your computer on and you turn your camera on, and as long as you have Wi-Fi connection, you go in and set up um, the Wi-Fi setup thing, which I did a hundred times, I could not get the camera recognized by anything. So this movie uploader uh, app you must have in order to do this. Okay, so once you download that, the next thing you're going to want to do is, I'm going to shoot about two seconds worth of, um, a few seconds worth of video here. So you can see I'm filming, filming, okay, and we'll stop it there. And now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the playback feature, you know, where you hit the, to play your videos and get them to come up on the screen. Okay, so here's my videos here. The first thing you want to do is then hit the home button over here. Once you hit the home button, you're going to see the Wi-Fi button, which is down here. Press the Wi-Fi button. Then you're going to go into Wi-Fi setup. Then you're going to go into network setup. Now, basically what these things are here are presets that you assign settings to. Ad hoc is when you want to use your 3 or 4G to send um, files, but in this case, we're going to show you how to do it just if you're within your house and you want to send it, um, or you're around any Wi-Fi connection and you want to send it from this camera over to your device via a Wi-Fi hotspot or your home router. I'm going to pick, for example, I already have these set up, but number three I haven't used yet. Okay. And basically the reason why you have more than one is so that like if you have several, if you have one at work, if you have one at home, or you have different places where you have different Wi-Fi connections um, and the routers are different, the passwords are different, this way all you have to do is pick which one you're at and then go right in and use it so you don't have to set up brand new every time. So what you're going to do is pick one, click set up as new. And then we're going to go to, man see, I thought all this WPS button, I went and tried all that stuff because my router has a WPS button, and it says that's what you're supposed to do. And I did it, and it still didn't work. So go to manual setup, and it's going to start searching for access points. And basically what that means is it's looking for your router. Okay, it found mine, RTC wireless, that's my router. I'm going to hit OK. Now, if you have multiple ones that come up, use these arrows here to pick which one is the Wi-Fi you use in your home or your work or wherever your Wi-Fi is. Hit OK. Now, encryption key. Instead of just saying type in your password here, like they probably should, they call it an encryption key. I don't know what the hell that is. So 
that confused me a little bit because um, I didn't know it was plain and simply my password. So put your password in and don't forget that it is case sensitive. So I'm going to enter my password here for my uh, Wi-Fi at home. And these buttons can be tricky, by the way. So bear with me here because the buttons are small and my fingers are not. So I'm going to type in my password. Don't forget everything is case sensitive. And then I'm going to hit OK. And then it says encryption key password protected. Just hit OK. Select the IP address assignment method. Just click automatic. Test connection with current settings. Yes. And now it's going to go through and make sure your Wi-Fi settings that you put in are correct. Basically, it's going to try to read your router for a minute. Now, mine says connection test successful. If yours does not, 99% of the time, it's because you screwed up the password because, the, like I said, those buttons are kind of finicky. Keep doing, it will, it is, if your router is working and you can get on your Wi-Fi at your home or office or wherever you are, this will definitely connect to it if that password is correct. Because I did it, believe it or not, I uh, misspelled the password twice in a row and then I was under the assumption that it didn't work. So hit OK. Save current configuration, yes. And then it says network configuration saved. Okay, now, here's the tricky part. We already shot a couple seconds worth of video. If you have something on the memory card or on the camera's internal memory, you can send either one through your Wi-Fi. It doesn't matter. So as long as you have some footage in your camera anywhere, either internally or on an SD card, um, you'll have something to test to send to your device. Here's the tricky part. Instead of hitting transfer files, which seems to be the sensible thing to do, you're going to hit DLNA Media Server. Now, you want that app open, um, the app that I showed you earlier, uh, the Pixella Movie Uploader. Now, it's going to say select the connection point. Well, we're going to make the one we just, we're going to pick number three, which is the one we just did, RTC Wireless. You want to make sure that your device is also on your Wi-Fi network at home or work or wherever you are. So I'm going to hit OK, and now it's going to connect. It says connected. Now it tells me that it's connected. If I go over here to the app and click camcorders, you'll see now it says Canon Vixia HF R30. This is the message your camera will now have on it. Don't click end. If you click end, it cancels the connection. If it doesn't read it yet, hit refresh again. As long as your camera has that connected thing on it, that means that the camera is sending the signal to your router. Then I click this. It's going to say, do you want it basically to search the internal memory? Do you want to basically search the built-in memory of the camera or the SD card? I'm going to go to the SD card and then watch what happens. It brings up my clips. So then I'll pick that little two seconds of video we just shot. It's going to do this, come up in the little screen, and then just hit play. And now it'll come up full screen as if you're watching like a YouTube video. It is now reading the camera through the Wi-Fi. Same camera that I'm filming this. Okay. Sorry about the crappy video I shot, but you get the point. If you want to now save that video to your iPad or your phone, you click that little guy, and it's going to give you that standard menu. You can send it to YouTube, you can send to Facebook, or save it to your photo library. So let's say I'm going to send to photo library. Now it's going to give you, now it's going to give you a warning saying basically don't close this app or it will cancel what you're doing. Now you can hit dismiss. And it's asking me now if it can access my photos because it has to have somewhere to save it to. And then if you look at the bottom, well, it did it so fast, but it says importing right along here on the bottom. You can see I can just slide here and do all the clips I just shot. Here's another one I shot.
about two seconds uh, before the one I just showed you. It's reading the, the Vixia. So this is reading the camera right now. And you can tell it's reading the camera also because watch as this is playing, watch what the camera is doing. You can see that little red light is, is beeping. It's showing that it's interacting. So let's pretend we want to send one now to like YouTube or Facebook. All right, I'm going to play this one. It's reading off the camera. Just so you know, none of these videos are inside this iPad. It's reading the camera like it's supposed to. This is the thing that Canon makes so difficult to figure out. Now, let's say we want to send that video to YouTube. You just click send to YouTube. And now it's going to ask you for your sign-in information. I'm not actually going to do this because I obviously don't want that on my YouTube thing. But you just sign in and boom, it literally sends it that fast. That's it. So if you have a good Wi-Fi connection, you don't have to use a memory card. Now, honestly, it's just as easy to stick an SD card in your computer and dump the footage to it. But this is pretty cool, actually. I like editing on my iPad, so it's pretty neat to be able to just have the camera sitting here. And, you know, there's nowhere, by the way, to put an SD card in an iPad or on your phone. So this is how you would get the footage to it right off of your camera. So I hope that... Uh, demystified a little bit of this process and made it a lot more simple for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'd be happy to try to help. Um, I don't really do videos about this sort of stuff, but today when I was messing around with this, I realized that there's a lot of people who are looking to figure out how to do this, and I just thought it would help a little bit. So good luck, and um, if you have any questions, let me know.